Hey, hello, this is Carol from Autodesk. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate the back fill volume, net cut or fill volume, and the pad area of multiple building pads in Revit by using Dynamo. Okay, first of all, I'm going to show you how to operate this Dynamo script. If you are in a wash, you can download my Revit models and the demo script in the description. Uh, I'm using the Revit 2020 and then I'm using Dynamo 2.5 in this exercise. Okay, first of all, um, I have these topographies here. And uh, the entire demo script is like this. And I just need to select the top pole. You find that I have four elements here. And actually, I have to pick this topography uh, at the same time for my uh, demo script. This one. Yeah. Or you can just uh, use the filter to help you. You will find that I have four topographies here, these four items, and the same as these elements. And then you can choose the paths here. The path is, uh, let me show you, by uh, hidden line. You can use the same trick, the filter, and then just uncheck this topography, and then OK. So you have uh, all the paths here. And afterwards, you just need to select the level. The level, uh, I better show you an elevation north, maybe, yeah. You can see that I have four levels here. And I have uh, already set the level two as a bad field level. And this script is automatic. And if I run this number slider, you see that my level two, the number or the level is dropping. And which means um, Dynamo is directly control the Revit. And you can see that uh, my uh, Dynamo output here in this four massing. And actually, you can pay attention into this schedule. When I want <clears throat> the lumbar slider again, um, the schedule will automatically update. Okay, so you only need to input these three elements by using um, the Dynamo script, the topo, the pets and then uh, the level with the um, elevation. You can also set the amount here, the minimum, the maximum, and the step. Step means um, the interval of um, each changes. Okay. So uh, you may notice that I have three uh, category here. These three columns here. I actually I am using to manage the project parameters to set these three tailor made uh, um, parameters for me. Because uh, if I am using the existing uh, schedule, I don't have uh, these three items, so I have to tailor made these three to tailor made these project parameters. You have to do this, just click on the Manage tab and then go to the Project Parameters. And then uh, let me show you an example. Yeah. So uh, if I want to create a bad field, you just need to type it here. Uh, select the Project Parameter and then the bad field uh, demo. Go to the demo and then for the discipline, just select the com common 
discipline and then it is not a length it is a volume and i will put it to the other the other group okay so the last thing you have to choose is go to the topography or you can just type t here Oops. maybe i scroll down a little bit when you find this one just click, click on it and then select OK. You will find that you have the backfield demo parameters and then click OK. When you go back to your schedule, the fields, you will find that under this uh, topography and you have the demo, uh, backfield demo and you just click on the add parameters and then OK. And then the new column is here. So if you want to delete this uh, backfill, just delete or return this item to the left, and then it will be good. So uh, this is the simple operation uh, of my script. So just in case you are in a rush, this is the end of the operation. If you still have time, I'm going to explain my Dynamo script. Okay. So let's take a look of this Dynamo script. And this script actually has been uh, divided in one, two, three, four, five, six, six sections. The first one is light green is to uh, collect the building paths and topographies in Revit. Let's take a look of it. So you just need to select, uh, use the select model elements, and then you can always change the name like this. Uh, for myself, uh, I always keep the original uh, name of the Dynamo uh, note, and then I just add the extra name here, hyphen topo and then accept. And this is the same for the select model elements pads. And then after I have uh, used this for the pads, because um, uh, every pad just like uh, a box, it has six phases. So I have to choose the top phases, the top phases of uh, this pad. You found that um, I have a lot of phases in this four. <clears throat> In this four uh, solid, and actually I have used some Python script. This Python, uh, which is a very simple uh, Python script, so you can just copy like this one uh, from operator import item getter. Item getter, um, or the operator is the Python library, so you don't need to care about it if you don't know Python. And then you see that I have uh, the line three and four is some uh, uh, comment for myself or for the others to understand my concept of this script. L1 is the list of all slabs. And then the S1 indicates the specific phase of a slab. Okay. Then the line eight is get specific phases from all slabs. Okay, so these two, uh, the number five and six is the variables of my script. And then the phases, the line, line phases equal to map. Uh, map is a function of Python. And then uh, I'm using the library item getter S1 and then the list L1. And then I have another not for myself, assign your output to, to the out variable and then out equal to phases. So if you don't under, understand this script, just uh, uh, you can get rid of it. Okay, close it. So let's see the result. You found that I filter all these phases to uh, four phases that I need. And after we have select the phase, we can input the phase to uh, 
for the calculation of the backfill uh, volume and also the pad area uh, for our reference. Okay, let's go back to here. And I also use the pad for a bounding box. I create a bounding box uh, in the pads and then I have some formulas here such as a uh, bounding box max pawn, pawn C, which is the height of it. And then I go back to this volume because I want to calculate the difference between um, the building pads and the level I'm going to uh, backfill, the level two. Uh, I have to do this because my pads, let me go back to Revit. here yeah you can find that my pads may may be located at different levels this is uh for level zero this two and the other two is for level one so i have to use this simple formula help me to collect all the levels from uh different uh <clears throat> pads and then once i have select all the pads it can uh, go through uh, some calculations and then i can get the volume uh, of backfill and then the last thing uh, of this formula is to convert because um in dynamo it is using the millimeters and i have to convert this unit to um matters okay you can always uh click on this pin when you hover on the uh, bottom right corner, you can just click on it, this pin, and then you can see the result. Uh, always remember, zero, the first number to start the list is zero, which is uh, similar as different programming uh, concept. Okay, so this output could be input to our Revit schedule. So always use the element.set parameter by name uh, as the input command for uh, from Dynamo to Revit. And also, you have to be very careful about this input. The capital letter and uh, small letter should be, or, and the space spacing should be exactly the same as Revit. Uh, this is the project parameters I have uh, shown you before uh, I have typed the backfill and then demo, but right now I'm using the backfill uh, space dynamo. So let's take a look of this one. If I click on this topography and then the project parameter actually is here. That one, the backfill dynamo. If you are using a uh, small letter, uh, Dynamo or Revit, they cannot recognize what you are saying or no information will be input here. So when you have successfully uh, input all the correct information and data, and I think these three sessions, uh, they are similar, so I, I'm not going to explain. You can uh, download my script and study more. So Maybe a little bit more explanation here. And this is the level. We, we can uh, select the level here and it will automatically collect all the reference levels uh, by Dynamo. So we can just select it. And then the same, which is the same as uh, the schedule output, we have to use the elevation as the parameter name because let's go back to the level when i click on this level two uh, you can find that we have the parameter name elevation and dano is going to change the value here automatically okay so i think this is uh, a very simple and straightforward uh, script for you to use so uh, today, uh, this is the end of the tutorial.
Thank you.